context of this being a group meeting, I will record it and oh. get my papers all ready. So what do you want to get coached on? This semester seems very stressful. <laughs> okay, this semester seems very stressful. What's going on? Um, so I started my internship, so mm -hmm. that's two extra days. I cut back artisan from three days to two days. Okay. And school takes two days, so that leaves Sunday for a rest day. But I used to have two rest days that kind of mm. were buffer days. And, mm. you know, there's a lot more evening activities too, which is like eating up my usual routine of watching shows at night. <laughs> so what so, evening activities are new? Um, so my internships go like on Tuesday, it goes till 730, but it's usually eight by the time I leave because it's like group so after group we talk about it a little bit and mm. then pack up stuff and finish writing some emails and leave at eight um okay. so get home at like 8 30 and that's like leaves like an hour hour and a half to like do stuff but it's not the same as like two or three hours that I had before <laughs> and okay. then yeah and then on Fridays uh, I leave at six so that's a fairly normal day and then Thursdays I'm in Ashland from I gotta leave here at 8 8 15 and then yeah. I get back by 10 in okay. the evening so it's a, okay. a, a long day hmm. um, okay. so yeah and since internship doesn't start like on Fridays it starts at 11 and Tuesdays it starts at one, but like in the mornings, it's hard to get anything done, <laughs> like mm. either fun stuff or homework. Cause it's just like that whole thing of like, I have something later to do. Okay. Like I can't do anything. <laughs> okay. So, um, so what do you feel like is the main problem with your new schedule? Some of it, I think, is just adjusting to the new rhythm, and I had to, I just today um, got my work schedule figured out to be only Mondays and Saturdays. It used okay. to be pick two of the three, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, but Wednesday, this past Wednesday, I had a day with like zero margin. I went for, to mm. work at six, left at two, went to counseling from three to four got home at 4 30 had class at five and then that was done by 7 30 and I would have had a uh, game night but that um got canceled because I was like I can't do a full day like this ever again okay <laughs> so um that's helpful but so yeah. you know that you won't have to work Wednesdays now yeah um you can do your game night late and it'll be fine Mm -hmm. um so if it's not adjusting what's the main problem like pretend that you're never getting used to this ever again <laughs> it's just <laughs> gonna be like this um because that's where you're at right now mm -hmm. right you don't mm -hmm. have to be all like it's gonna get better because eh, I mean, it probably will but um yeah. what's what's the problem like right now I think it's trying to figure out if my evenings are cut shorter finding mm -hmm. other places and other ways to get like rest hmm. without like yeah without it being like seven to ten every night like it is in the winter and then in the summer it's like eight to ten <laughs> okay um yeah so I think it's, it's more that. evenings than the only having one um than being down to one rest day instead yeah. of two. I think uh, yeah it's like trying to balance energy and okay. like find the right balance between school and work and rest because like 
theoretically I could do stuff on Sundays and get some homework done and stuff. But like last weekend, I basically crashed on Sunday and I was like, that's fine. It was your first week of school and internship. Like go ahead and crash. And then Monday you can get your work done because you've got a full day off. And then Monday I also crashed and just like took a two hour nap and just like hung out and did like just social media stuff and scrolling and like that was fine. I, I don't think that was a bad thing, but it's it's just like, okay, so that's what my body needed, but like that's not sustainable if I'm going to get all my work done at some point. <laughs> okay, so that's not sustainable if I'm going to get all my work done. Yeah, like it, I need to get my homework done at some point. And if I need two whole days to crash, like that doesn't leave much time for homework. So if so, I can like be more, this is a bad way to say it, but be more productive in my rest so that I can get it smashed into one day so okay. I can have another day for homework <laughs> and being productive, like that would be helpful. So when you think about um, kind of um, two rest days on Sunday and Monday, and now you're like be Sunday and Wednesday, but yes, continue. Okay. But thinking about last weekend, yeah. And then you said that's not sustainable if I'm going to get my work done. Um, how do you feel? Like what emotion comes up in your body when you're like, that's not sustainable if I'm going to get my work done? Um, I feel like probably yeah, like stress and anxiety and just like weight on the chest. It's like, I can't breathe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so can't breathe seems more like overwhelmed, but you yeah. pick your word. What do yeah. you think is the one word emotion for just like, that's not sustainable if I'm going to get my work done. Um, yeah, I think I'd go overwhelmed because anxious is more like a worry thing and that's less of it. And stress is what causes the overwhelm, but the overwhelm feels more like an emotion word than a stress than stress does. So we'll go overwhelmed. <laughs> okay. And I think, um, everybody interprets their own feelings differently because they have different feelings in their own body. Right. Mm -hmm. But to me, stress, um, and anxiety are a little bit sometimes more, um, like active. And when you say that there's like a weight on you, that sounds like just being crushed under overwhelm, <laughs> but everybody mm -hmm. feels their own feelings differently. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so just double check. That's not sustainable if I'm going to get my work done. And then you feel overwhelmed. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you're thinking about like this balance of like your schedule, you're thinking mm -hmm. about like how it played out last week was, um, I'm trying to figure out like a factual way to like, did you do any homework? Eventually. Okay. And you not said you took a two hour time. nap. But yeah. <laughs> um, what does eventually mean? Did you do it on Monday or I not? did it or... not on Monday. I did okay. it on Thursday after class was done. <laughs> okay. And then um you said you did like social media and stuff. Like we could mm -hmm. probably go back on your phone and say like X hours of social media, right? Um, My phone doesn't track that, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It, theoretically it was theoretically somewhere. like because yeah. I uh, I'm just trying to separate out like the facts from the story because mm. um like it's not a fact that you crashed like that's the way you're describing it and like the story you're telling yourself about it yeah like the fact is like you took a nap no homework was visible at the end of the day mm -hmm. um and you did social media you remember anything else that you did those days or um I had lunch with a friend on Monday yeah um Sunday yeah it was mostly just like this Sunday was more intentional like yes I am resting this day and like watched some shows and did some stuff 
-hmm. like that. Um, and then Monday was like, I'm just gonna be in my room um, and I'm gonna read. And then what reading is, is Twitter. Okay. And then- <laughs> Do you need to read words for Twitter from what I'm yes, here? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's definitely a word, <laughs> word heavy site. <laughs> And then I had lunch and then I came back and it was like, now I'll do homework. I'll take a two hour nap. Mm. So okay. I think it was harder on Monday because it was like that. Now I'll do, no, still can't do homework. Cool. <laughs> so which direction would you rather go with this? Would you rather talk about what you were thinking and feeling on Monday that led to not doing homework, even though you kind of intended to? Or would you rather talk about kind of how you're feeling now of like, okay, so this is how my first full week went and that's not sustainable if I'm going to get my work done. I think the second one, because okay. I've had plenty of days like Monday <laughs> okay. and, you know, some, some days I can catch the signs a little early and be like, okay, if we're not going to do homework let's just watch some shows and do like long form activities and that works out better, but okay, I can figure that out. So you kind of feel like you have some tools to deal with how a day like Monday would go. Um, mm -hmm. And so um, usually you just like start with the facts, which you have so many facts. You gave me your whole schedule. So many. Which is fantastic. <laughs> Um, and then you're All talking out of about order. like how the week went was, um, and specifically with like your Sunday, Monday, that's not sustainable if I'm going to get my work done and then you feel overwhelmed. So is this something, is this overwhelmed feeling thinking this thought something that just popped up now when we're talking about it, or have you kind of thought of, or felt a version of that throughout the day today or Tuesday and Wednesday? It's all the way Friday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> I think like on Tuesday, I thought of it. I was just like, dang, like, oh boy. Like I was at internship, like thinking about the week ahead of me. And I was like, oh, so I've got like internship until tonight. And then Wednesday is completely full. And then Thursday is school and classes are already over. And I lost my chance to do homework this week in time. And like, I am okay with being a little late with homework, but it's like, it needs to get done eventually. And I prefer being ahead of schedule instead of behind. Okay. Um, so yeah, it was kind of that like, we can't do that again. We gotta mm -hmm. figure out something else. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so I thought of it over the week for sure. Okay. So can you tell me a little bit about what you kind of just did, mm -hmm. um, your like thought process when you're feeling overwhelmed like that, when you're thinking like, this is not sustainable, I feel overwhelmed, like what mm -hmm. is going on in your mind then? Like you were saying, like you went through your week and kind mm -hmm. of. Yeah, I think some of it was like, okay. Yeah, like some of it was like, okay, I need to talk to work so that I can get my schedule like solidified into Monday, Saturday, so I can have Wednesday off. So I don't have a day like that again. So I got okay. that done today. But mm -hmm. um, some of it is like, I don't trust myself because I can be such a procrastinator sometimes. <laughs> and mm -hmm. like sometimes, like, I can sit down and try to work and it like just flows. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like just reading the words and processing the words and not what happens when like my brain isn't functioning right. And it's just like, I am reading and this is the, I am reading the text and I am on page 113 and there's seven more pages and I'm at the middle of, I did not read that paragraph. I need to go up and read it again. So like my brain just can't like, it's not in the flow. And so some days I'm able to get a lot done very quickly because my brain's like ready for it. And other days, like my body's just like, today's not the day for homework. Sorry. So yeah, it's a bit of like, what happens if I have too many days like that in a row? Like, oh no, this is not gonna work for me. Um, yeah. 
So you worry about your ability to get stuff done. Mm-hmm. Um, and you doubt yourself of like, can I do it? Um, yeah. And what did you do? Like, um, did you like avoid anything when you're like feeling overwhelmed? Um, I mean, I usually do what I call turtling. Um, just like when I generally get overwhelmed, it's just like, and social media, I'm going to sit by myself in my room or Uh watch Netflix all day. And I'm just going to (laughs) turtle. So you probably didn't really have a chance to do that Tuesday. No, I I really wanted to turtle all this week and I just have not really had the chance. (laughs) So you wanted to go into your little shell. Yeah. Um, and, uh, did that happen today at all? When did you have some time today? I had internship today. So, um, yeah, not really. No. (laughs) Did you, um, like stay up late to get some turtling at all or, um, Um, a little, I mean, this morning I stayed in bed later than usual. Um, cause I, had a bit more time because internship started at 11 um so like I had a bit of time and so that's when I was like we're not getting out of bed until I need to go eat breakfast and leave <laughs> okay um, um so and I would think, you say that was because you were feeling overwhelmed or like a different mm, feeling yeah I think it okay. was that um, okay. and um then on um Tuesday night this was more from just the stress rather than like wanting to turtle but more just like le- laying in bed eyes closed just thinking like wow tomorrow's gonna be the worst I'm gonna have no time just like when am I gonna eat dinner I don't know I'm gonna have to make it work but I don't know when that's gonna so like that was more just like mind couldn't turn off because it was just like I didn't process what what this day was gonna look like <laughs> you're processing then yeah Yeah. um so when this has popped up for you throughout this week of like the way I did last week is not sustainable if I'm gonna get my work done and you feel overwhelmed Mm -hmm. you want to go into your little shell and just Mm -hmm. burrow in right um is there anything that you've avoided doing that uh because you're feeling too overwhelmed um I mean, I'm trying to think like besides just turtling, which is avoiding if everything. You overwhelmed. <laughs> if you were just like, I got this, what would you do that like maybe you're not doing right now? <laughs> um, homework. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like life would be similar. Okay. Oh. Um, and is there anything that you do kind of like externally that's like, I am overwhelmed. So therefore I am, I don't know, treating yourself or like (laughs) (laughs) anything like that. (laughs) Um, I mean, I've had a lot more ice cream in the past week than I have in previous weeks okay (laughs) um yeah more Oreos too Hmm. but yeah I say that and some of it was like less treating yourself but I haven't eaten like great because it's been like oh I didn't even think to pack a lunch I guess I'm gonna just like go eat out somewhere (laughs) and um yeah so some of that was just like a necessity but yeah some okay. of it was also like well while I'm here I might as well get a frosty <laughs> okay. uh, um and why did you want to get a frosty because it was a hard week man okay I need that <laughs> okay so um like, let's get through this okay um so Is there anything else that you can think of that you have been doing or like a way you have been thinking because you're overwhelmed before I move on? (laughs) Um, Which maybe if I recap it, something else will come to you anyway. Yeah, maybe. But I think we're good. 
there's okay. no there's not anything blaring that I have forgotten to say. So perfect. Yep. Okay. So um you have an internship that has added two days of just stuff to your schedule. Mm -hmm. You have taken it away one day of work and you have school day two days a week, which has remained constant, right? From previous semesters. Um yeah, basically. Okay. Um, and your internship goes into the evening a little bit on Tuesday, goes to like eight ish and Friday goes to like six ish and school goes until eight, uh, sorry, 10 PM at night on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. Um, and so on Sunday and Monday, you did not do homework. You did do social media. You, um, what am I forgetting? Took a nap. Took a two hour nap. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so looking back at your first week, you're like, that's not sustainable if I'm going to get my work done, which feels overwhelming. Um, and so you doubt your ability to move forward or get your work done ever. Um, you worry about just like your physical capacity to get in the flow and do the work. You um, at least want to turtle if you could possibly have the time like you did this morning of just like Netflix, social media, hide. So yeah. um, you avoid getting any homework done and indulge in a little, I shouldn't say indulge. You have consumed more Oreos and ice cream this week. Uh -huh. um, and the result that I see from all of that is I don't sustain my ability to work. What do you think about that? Um, I don't sustain my ability to work or maybe support. I don't support myself in a way that I need to, to get my work done. Um, I think the only tweak I do is like, I don't know how to best support myself to get mm -hmm. my work done. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a tweak, but that feels more true. <laughs> yeah. So maybe one of the, I think I, that probably just means that I missed that you're questioning, like doubting yourself and worrying probably involves a lot more questioning than I previously mm -hmm. noticed. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. So, um, I also wonder how just like I don't get my work done feels as a result of all that. How it feels. Does that feel true or is it really the the landing places? I don't figure out how to get my work done. I think. I think it's like I. Hmm. It doesn't feel like the right thing, but I'm not sure how to tweak it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to. Yeah. Um, I just want to know like what feels like, yes, that's the results. Yeah. So you said I didn't remember write it down word for word. I don't figure out how to I don't know how to best support getting my work done. Mm -hmm. Or like because okay. I think because this is the most obligations. I've had in a very long time. And mm. so it's like, I know how to do like some things to like rest, but like, mm. is it the like most supportive way to rest? Is it like not actually resting? And it's just, I've had enough time off to like recover from work in order to do it again, but it's not like the most sustainable way to do it when I have six it, days. <laughs> it kind of sounds like you're talking about like active resting of like, I am resting versus just like passive resting of like, I'm not working. So yeah, I'm recovering. Yeah. Is that kind of what you yeah. mean? Yeah, that's kind of, yeah. Okay. What feels draining about obligations? Some of it is just, especially this semester is just like the packing. Like the, especially since like Mondays work, Tuesdays artisan, Wednesdays class, but at home, Thursdays class in Ashland, Friday's internship, 
Saturday's work. So like every single day it like goes into something else. So it's always like moving all my stuff to different bags and like which days do I need to pack a lunch and I haven't really had to do that yet. And like, um, yeah, so some of it's like that of just trying to figure out when I'm eating and when I'm <laughs> like <laughs> what stuff I need for which place. Um, and so really it, like eating is sustenance you kind of need that <laughs> mm, mm -hmm. um and I think what was the original question what feels draining about obligations yeah it's that and it's like I think too since my internship's more towards the evening like 11 to 6 and 1 to 7 38 um it's like, I do have a few hours in the morning on those days mm -hmm. that like could be used in more helpful ways. Mm -hmm. But instead, I spend most of the time thinking like, okay, what time is it? Like, do I have everything packed? Like, I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> um, and when I like when I have slower mornings like that, I do tend to turtle and sleep in and stay in bed longer than I probably should. And um, mm -hmm. then I don't actually have that much time before internship to do anything. So then it's like, well, I'll be in, in like leaving in like an hour. And so that doesn't really leave much time to like sit down and read a chapter of a book mm -hmm. because I also have to eat lunch at some point in there. And yeah, so it's just kind of like, a f like more fractured times to either be productive or in the evening is like an hour or so of rest but like how much can you really get done in that much time I don't know <laughs> so I would like to separate out here everything that you just said about your mornings because it's truly fascinating I love it so much <laughs> <laughs> so the facts are um you have internship at 11 and you have internship at one right mm -hmm. what time do you have to actually leave half an hour before okay so you have to leave at 12 30 and you have to leave at 10 30 mm -hmm. and so then those are the facts and then all of your story about it is like i can't do anything because i have to do something and like an hour doesn't count if something comes after it, but like an hour in the evening could maybe count for like rest or something maybe. But um, you should listen to the call I did with mom early because uh, <laughs> it's like the same thing of like, I can't. We're the same person. It's, like... <laughs> um, it's like, she was talking about like, I can't go for a walk because I have to be back for tutoring when someone was registered. But when someone wasn't registered, she went for a walk and got back in time to be there for the person who wasn't there. But like, if someone was waiting for me, like, um, so it's just very interesting that like, you are, I just want to show you that you are telling a story about that chunk of time mm -hmm. that like, you get to decide what that chunk of time actually is because, um, Another person might be like, oh my gosh, I have all the time in the world. I don't have to be anywhere till 1030. This is glorious, right? <laughs> um, and they were Every probably mom like, in the world. <laughs> <laughs> they were probably like, I mean, not me, but <laughs> they would probably be like, okay, I could do this from like this time to this time. Like mm -hmm. people, I, I don't understand them, but I, I know it's a thing. People who get up at five in the morning uh -huh. would be like, I have all day basically until 10 30. Right. And then yeah. they have no evenings, they got to go to bed. It all evens out. But, um, like the amount of time that you have is neutral and you just get to decide what, um, you want to believe about that chunk of time. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's all optional. That's all. <laughs> um, and like, similarly, you feel like you are overwhelmed because this semester is different. Mm -hmm. Like that was the first thing you said to me is like, this semester seems very stressful. <laughs> um, and so you feel like that is what is creating your like overwhelm. Um, but really it's your thought, like 
this is not sustainable if I'm going to get my work done that's creating the overwhelm. Because another person might look at like having six days a week of obligations and like classes just in the evening on Wednesdays. And, you know, they would have a mm-hmm. lot of like just like I just have to go for a half day this day and I just have to. Um, and they could have the thought of like, I only have to do these chunks of time. Like, this is so sustainable. And like, <laughs> feel completely different, feel relieved. Maybe somebody Mm -hmm. who was like working 40 hours a week and trying to go to school, but now that they're doing an internship is like, oh, I've only worked 20 hours a week. This is glorious, right? Mm -hmm. Um, So it's not the schedule that's creating the overwhelm. It's your thought about like, this is not sustainable. And then that's also creating your actions of like, I don't know if I can do this and worrying about if I can do this. And like, I need to find a balance of how I can do this. Um, So you just get to pick your thoughts. (laughs) And the trick is like, you can't just automatically be like, this semester is such a relief. And like, wow. I have so much. Yeah. That's just going to be like, (laughs) no. So I'm not saying that you should just be like, suppress all your emotions and be like sunshine and daisies, but just like, sometimes our thoughts are so automatic that Mm -hmm. it just seems like this is the only logical thing to think about this kind of schedule. Obviously. (laughs) Obviously. Like, how could I not think this semester is very stressful? Mm -hmm. Um, But that's what I'm here to show you. It's just like the schedule is just neutral times on paper. And, um, even like your amount of homework is just like a syllabus, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and then you have your story that you're creating about it of like, I need to do it in a sustainable way. I need to get my work done. Like those are like implied Mm -hmm. beliefs in your thoughts, right? Yeah. Um, and yeah, somebody else could be like, whatever I'll just burn out this semester and or somebody absolutely not no thank you (laughs) yeah no burning out too old and wise for that right you've already burned out before (laughs) yeah that's fine don't need to do that again (laughs) um but the the other fun thing is that burnout is an emotion Mm -hmm. and your thoughts create your feelings so you can create whatever you want to Mm -hmm. um so what do you think about that? That you're, you have the option to think about your time, how you want to think about your time. Um, it feels like the kind of thing that like sounds good on paper, but <laughs> how does that work though? That is a great question. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, Right now, you talked about, like, I will get used to this. I will adjust to this, Mm -hmm. right? Um, When do you envision yourself being like, okay, I've adjusted to the schedule. Is that, like, two weeks from now or, like, by the end of the semester, you'll be like, "Ah, okay. Like, Um, I'm hoping sometime by midterms, October-ish, maybe (laughs) November-ish. Okay. So you're hoping yeah. that there's some like October-ish, November-ish Hannah out there that's like, I have adjusted to this, right? Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think her actions would be that may be different from how you're doing things now? Um, probably it's a little more organized with packing and food. And so hopefully some of that is just a little more automatic of like, okay, like, I just automatically know that I need to get um, lunch ready the night before, and it's not the morning of, and I'm like, oh, yeah, if I want to eat lunch today, I better figure something out, or, (laughs) Um, so a little more prepared on that side, Mm -hmm. Um, and maybe has a better system for bags I'm not sure yet about that Mm. but we'll figure it out but it feels Um, like that's a possibility of like Hannah who has adjusted to things has a great system for bags yeah of like 
it'd be nice if I didn't have, have to move all my stuff to different bags every day. <laughs> but it's like I've got my nice professional bag. And then my backpack that is dirty and old and grody and can carry a lot more stuff. <laughs> right. um, but yeah, I don't know. And what else can Hannah do in October? Um, she just did Hannah do. Yes. She uh, probably like some of it is just having all of all of the things on the syllabus that the teacher didn't tell you about until after the first week of school on the schedule. That's something I've been meaning to do this week in all of my spare time. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you feel like there's like things floating that you haven't put yeah, like just captured little, on the schedule. Just need to tie, tie some loose ends of like these extra articles you need to look over or um, yeah, now we've got like, sign everyone signed up for what presentation they're doing on what day and so okay. I need to add that to the schedule okay I think this is my first semester without a huge paper so mm -hmm. that's exciting okay okay um I got some little papers but they're like this is I did some interviews with some people and this is what we talked about so no okay. research needed, so that's nice okay um the interviews will be over. That'll be good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For class. Um, I think I'll have figured out what to do with those mornings. Okay. Um, whether it's like finding a good time to be out of bed by in order to get some homework done or like I have also done this in the past when I like closed for work and mm -hmm. so work would be two to ten it'd be like well definitely won't have an evening so I might as well have my evening this morning and so I just watched my shows and it was fine um so some of it might be like just go ahead and watch your show don't worry yeah. about it like get your homework done some other time and not feeling like I really should be doing homework though. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe more on top of homework by then and not behind or feeling behind. Okay. Not feeling um, behind. Yeah. Um, so what, uh, when you're talking about like um, doubting your ability to like get it all done, future adjusted Hannah like what does she think about that um I think she probably has a few more weeks under her belt to know whether yeah like she'll she'll have evidence hopefully of like see this week worked out okay like mm. I don't have one of those weeks yet <laughs> mm, okay like, hey you were able you had like all day on Wednesday to like get your work done and you did good job okay. um like that can happen it's not just a, a like theoretical dream <laughs> okay um and I have more questions maybe, about that that we'll come back to. But anyway, <laughs> what yeah, else would I'm like um, this? This sounds like a thought coaching uh, fodder. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, um, so yeah, and maybe you, just uh, before I forget, also yeah. just like for the days that if there are like, is there if there is a week where it's like Sunday and Wednesday theoretically are the days that I will get homework done and both of them I crash then like there were still times on Thursday or Tuesday morning or like whatever Friday that I was able to get stuff done um and it was okay that those days were just a wash <laughs> okay um so future hannah doesn't mm -hmm. feel behind has a plan for when she crashes 
um, has a plan for mornings, whether that's like a time to get out of bed and do homework or a time to get out of bed and watch shows or sleep in and watch shows. Um, Hannah, future Hannah is enjoying no huge paper. Future Hannah has everything on the schedule. Future adjusted Hannah, I guess I should be saying. Um, future <laughs> Hannah has a plan for packing, for food, doing it the night before, being prepared, having a system for transferring things out of bags. Um, and the result that she's creating is I get all my work done and feel sustained. So what do you think? future Hannah is feeling that is creating all of those actions. Like what would you have to feel in order to act all of those ways? Um, first that is not overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's the, what's the opposite of that? Um, I think maybe Calm doesn't seem like the right word for it. Peace doesn't quite feel like it either. Maybe confident. Much, yeah, I was going to say like confident or self-assured or empowered mm -hmm. or something like that usually have some kind of like momentum to them or like yeah. don't, which is fine. Yeah. But I just don't think they would create all of those actions. Right, yeah. Yeah, be like, ah, I am peaceful. Even though work is the way that it is now. Yeah. Um, so you, yeah. You like confident or? I feel like. It's probably as close as we're going to get. Okay. <laughs> I'm not very confident about my answer. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be you right now feeling confident, right? It just has to be like. Future Hannah, October, November is going to feel like so confident um, or maybe prepared is the, what do you think about prepared? Um, that also fits. Okay. And probably it's like a, I feel confident because I am prepared or mm -hmm. I feel prepared <laughs> okay. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So what linked. about, um, you feel confident because you're thinking, I am prepared for this. Yeah, that feels about right. Okay. Um, can you think of anything else that would, that you would be thinking that would make you feel confident? Like, I've got this or... Um... Is there any time you felt confident in the past that you're like, I remember I was like, I'm so on top of things or like. Yeah. Um, I think what's hard about the past, which maybe you can help me figure this one out. I was like, in the past, it's been like the internships, the new thing. Mm -hmm. And so like in the past, it's like, I'm a good student. I've done this for most of my life. I know how to be a student. I know how to get work done. Like I know how to write a paper in two days. So I don't need to worry about it until two days before my papers do. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. And so like I got to that point and like with work, it's like I have been in food service for a long time. It's really fun, even when it's a really busy day, like okay. or lots of things go wrong. Like it's mm -hmm. fun still. Um and at this point, I feel very confident in work. Like, I know how things go. I know the system. I know, like, the, the random titchy things about the, like, uh, like, how to give a refund or when something glitches out or whatever. Freaky um, stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so I guess some of that is, like, I guess I could apply some of that to internship of like I'm at the beginning of internship I'm not gonna know everything about how to be prepared for it mm. <laughs> because mm -hmm. you know it's new still and it's probably going to feel new for much longer than it ever did for um work but 
Um, you did say when you're talking about being a good student, I know how to get my work done. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's because all I was doing was a part-time job in school. <laughs> now mm -hmm. I've got two part-time jobs in school. <laughs> uh -huh. So like that's um, the thing that's casting doubt on this whole semester, I think. Right. Um, so once again, it's not necessarily that your schedule is different. It's your thoughts about like, I don't know if I'm good at this yet. And this isn't sustainable the way I'm doing it. And um, like the new schedule is neutral. And <laughs> I'm not, I'm not fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. It's much um, fuller than it ever has been. So it's like, it feels overwhelming from that, even though. Yeah, like so, I understand what you're saying about like, it's a fuller schedule and that's just a fact. Well, um, the fuller isn't necessarily even a fact because it's descriptive, right? Like the times on paper are a fact. Um, and so the interesting thing here and why I was talking about future hand a little bit is um the times on paper are neutral and i think you can see like a different person who just came from working for a full-time job and taking 18 credit hours would be like you know what a relief i don't have to be anywhere till 11 30 like um mm -hmm. so but you're feeling like no as me the only way to interpret this is as overwhelming right yeah but that's current you but future you that you were imagining was like I have a plan for this I am I feel confident like I don't feel behind I have everything on the schedule I know when I need to pack my lunch um so <laughs> so <laughs> um you have all of that like I guess I would call it like wisdom or strategy, like hiding in there mm -hmm. that your, um, when you think things like, I don't know how to sustain myself to get my work done. It's like, you have all the answers in all of these filing cabinets and you're like, but I don't know how I'm just going to close the door. Like, <laughs> and you're just like accidentally closing the door of like, but I don't mm -hmm. know how, like, I don't know what's all in there. Right. Like you don't even know that it exists. Like it's a uh -huh. requirement and you're like, it's a broom closet. I don't know. I'm just shutting the door. I don't know how to sustain myself and get all my work done at the same time. Mm -hmm. But when I was asking about like future you, it was kind of like, you're starting to like, well, this filing cabinet is labeled like pack lunches earlier. Like mm -hmm. you have some answers about how a different person, AKA future you, totally knows how to handle this schedule once you have adjusted mm -hmm. so um and there is like the adjustment process and I really need to get a sharpie for when I or I just need to like actually set up an office and set up my dry erase board that I can but... <laughs> I know Crazy sometimes we can talk about the thoughts of why you haven't done that yet. <laughs> exactly so here's like cute current Hannah that's like me. Um, and then you have Absolutely. future Hannah that's like, uh, hold on. You're such an artist. Such an artist. Ooh, um, look at that bicep. Yeah. Um, right. And so, like, you probably think things can change whenever you want them to change. Mm -hmm. Um, but probably there's like a process in here of like slowly walking over to like confident because mm -hmm. when you have as much overwhelm as you have you're not just going to be like okay bye overwhelm I'm confident now because then your brain would be like are we though <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. um so there's two different ways that I've heard people talk about this mm -hmm. uh sometimes when people are like worried about doing it wrong 
it's like, okay, each one of these is a mistake that's getting closer to, okay, but I know how to do it. Mm. Um, and then a different way I've heard people talk about it is each one of these like steps along the way is a slowly closer to the more adaptive thought. So like mm. if this Hannah is thinking like, um, I don't know, this isn't sustainable. Uh, and then this Hannah's like, I've got this. Um, then maybe some of the steps along the way would be like, maybe I've got this. Mm. It's possible I know how to do this somewhere in the back of my brain. Um, and some of some of the time that's a little bit easier to be like, okay, I believe it's possible. Mm. Like, I believe maybe I've got it. We'll try it, right? Um, and so I guess my question for you is just, which you've been getting coached for like an hour. So you're right yeah. because this is like 45 minutes is like about <laughs> the limit a lot of times. Um, so I... I'm just curious, what is like one step towards like, I've got this that feels believable? Like, maybe I know some strategies. Like, how does that make you feel? Um, hmm. Doubtful. Does it make you feel doubtful? No, I, I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of brain thoughts yeah. and some of them I'm just being like, come on, get it together. <laughs> I'm like we could go another hour on that. We'll just leave that one alone. I mean, um, you can always say it and then I'll write it down and then we'll just do this every day. Yeah, you know, um, yeah. I think one of them would be like, I liked the filing cabinet analogy. So maybe like there's folders up in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like mm -hmm. I've got, I've got some things like available. Mm. I've got some strategies available, but that also doesn't feel like that feels like a farther down step that doesn't feel okay. like the very next step <laughs> I don't so know. that's like middle of the road okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um because I think right now when I think I've got some strategies available it's like ah, but like how do you I do that how do I get those done though mm -hmm. I'm like yeah I still like some of it's like yeah some of it's like I know the strategy like okay I could sit down and like write out like this is the time that I will get this done but like will I look at my full my planner I don't know maybe um and that's where the you know we could talk on that of like scheduling literally could because I for uh, hours <laughs> I have so many new tools I've been using with yes calendaring <laughs> hey so fun um but yeah I think maybe some of it is um like even to go meta like I'll get there there are steps between a and b <laughs> like like um, I am on the path to knowing yes. what I'm doing yes like I there is a path forward mm -hmm. yeah to put it as succinctly as possible <laughs> yeah and like the whole like do the next right thing mm -hmm. you know quote that yeah. people say like what do you think about just like I am on the path I can do the next right thing is it still like no I can't what's the right, right thing I don't know or are you like I, I I think I know what the next yeah the next um, thing not the yeah. whole thing I think my brain hates cliches, mm, so do okay. the right next. The right next thing is like, ugh, gross. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. um, 
<laughs> but there is a path forward and um I'm on the path yeah and I can see the path mm -hmm. a little bit mm -hmm. you know much like a path in the woods there's turns so you can't see the whole thing but mm -hmm. yeah like but when you told me all the things that like future Hannah was doing, like you kind of mm -hmm. know the destination, mm -hmm. even if you're not totally sure about like, can I climb all the mountains on the way to the destination? I don't <laughs> know right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that, but, um, and also like, uh, I don't know if you can see this. Have you heard me talk and post about everything is 50, 50, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I don't want you or anybody else to get the impression of like we're gonna make all the overwhelm go away forever right like that'd because, be nice <laughs> right um because like life is 50 50 and you have the confident side of you and you have the overwhelm side of you and you have the like um confused so I'm switching it uh and the like how would you say you feel at work when you're like I know all the little pitchy things like um I don't know the adjective for expert but like <laughs> Ex expert sure Why so not? like yeah you feel confident and you feel overwhelmed and you feel like an expert and you feel super confused and like nothing has gone wrong there that's just like how life is mm -hmm. can't help it um the thing that you were talking about with like turtling um is often called buffering where it's like but I'm gonna go over here and watch Netflix uh to try to get away from the overwhelm and so then you have this other portion that is like false pleasure where it feels better than uh, overwhelmed, but it actually moves you farther away from confidence because mm -hmm. you're kind of just out here in the outer darkness circling <laughs> like the negative emotions, but you have to like go through the negative emotions and just like feel the overwhelm and feel the confusion and let them process through to actually get back to even just curious right there's a mm. little bit more of a neutral emotion in between um confident and overwhelmed i'm just putting curious right in the middle because it, it mostly feels positive i think but mm -hmm. it's not, it's a little bit more neutral so I'm going to let you go because wowza. Yeah, that was a whole hour. Brain. <laughs> um, and one fun activity that you could do, should you choose to accept it, is pretend, like write yourself a letter from October 31st or November 1st or whatever and be like, listen, this is how we figured it out. Okay. Like November 1st, Hannah. Uh, here I am, I'm giving September 9th, Hannah, some like insight into what the path was like and just like imagine it mm -hmm. and just kind of go through those filing cabinets a little bit and let yourself walk around that room that has the answers in it as mm -hmm. your future self and see what, see what pops up that you're like, that you never know what could pop up that makes you feel like, oh, that's, that's doable actually. Right. Mm -hmm. So cool. Yes. Also, enjoy your weekend and your Netflixing and your social media. And <laughs> absolutely, um, I will be doing all of that too. <laughs> and I do think what you said about like, nope, yep, this is my time. This is my evening time is actually in the morning. I'm going to watch shows is like a great plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you do yeah. get to the point of like, I'm putting things on the schedule, do it. Give yourself permission to rest. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. And for sure, come back and get coached about time because that would be so fun. Uh-huh. Okay. Bye. All right. <laughs> Bye.